out. Everything is going to come full circle with this. Why is that? Hong Kong embraces unified ledger concept. We gave you some examples earlier. I'm going to have a hard time shopping it all up, but I'll do my best later on. Again, action and reaction. Jasmine had a direct action to the reaction of this because Jasmine is well positioned for where they're taking Web3. Is Quant well positioned to where they're taking Web3? And the answer basically is yes. And here is part of the research that Channing and I collaborated with. Yes, I know. Finally getting to some of this stuff. Two hour and 14 minute mark. I said it'll be WrestleMania. But the point was recognizing this. So Channing, I think you're muted. and you Unmute yourself. Um, let's talk about this. What was your thoughts with all this research I sent you earlier, my friend? <laughs> well, kind of sort of with, um, as far as the six digital exchange right here, and just talking about the the architects of the future, basically. And that's what it is, is they're building the foundational layer of the entirety of Web3, not just on the financial sector, but also just the sector of just transactions via the internet, which is quite incredible. And like they said, if in this, just paraphrasing, but you can't do the same things you did in the past because we're literally entering into a whole new ball game. So I'm excited to see what Quant has already brought to the table and bringing to the table because I know it's much more than what they have divulged to the public at this point in time. Maybe we should start calling Gilbert Verdian, Martin uh, Hargreaves, Andrew Carrier, and all of them like uh, Transformers. Tear me out. You know, you gave me a weird analogy earlier. You called me filet mignon because I bring the meats. What the heck, right? Start calling Quant Transformers. Why? It's more than meets the eye. That's what the Transformers do, right? More than meets the eye. They're changing. They're flipping the script on the whole entire thing of where we're going with the internet. This next stage of the internet with Web3. Jumping into this next part of what we had to elaborate a little bit more of what Channing was talking about. You have this, and this is back to the whole thing where we're, we're kind of introducing, right? So, um, you know, if you wonder about the whole thing of X, SDX, right, uh, which is six digital exchange, there is this. And like it says, customer's perspective, access to multiple FMI and bank. Hold on a second. I have to fix the screen. Uh, bank services through one unique set of accounts and wallets. Now, this I thought was like, hmm, where are they going with this? Where are we going with this? Right. I'd be asking that. So you have this thing about the very top. It's hard to see. I do apologize for it. But it says Asia next. Remember, first slide, Hong Kong. This nice. next bigger one, Asia next. Jasmine really had two huge significant pumps, did it not? So my thing is, Quant went to Japan one year ago, established working groups and standards into Japan. They already laid that foundation. They already have those working groups. Cool. Awesome. Where do we go from here? Well, you see that this particular project, like we're talking about, SDX, has multiple services. They have one liquidity pool, and they also have one access point. But these access points, you ever recognize some of these things, the institutional players and so on? What would be the access point? I mean, why would they have one access point? This is because they're bank. Well, it's also recognizing something that's blockchain agnostic, right? Absolutely. You know Quant. Absolutely. So this again, thank you to one and only Quant Papa, uh, providing a lot of the deep dive research uh, with actual visuals. I mean, so just seeing two guys on camera talking about some of the stuff, right? But it says how we see the future of capital markets. Now, this one, I'll take Channing and I out of the frame because I want to put some emphasis on the material. Why is that? What you're going to see here is how it all comes to fruition. So these capital markets, you know, like I'll give an honorable mention. Don't cover them all the time, but Clearpool, very low market cap gem. Um, another thing that's similar to Clearpool, but has less tokens, very scarce, Maple Finance. Those two projects are part of a capital markets ecosystem. But who is the one 
that puts it all together together through something that's blockchain agnostic for capital market ecosystems. Well, introducing SDX, global 24-7 DA agnostic infrastructure powered by permission, private, and public blockchains. Interesting. Look at this for a second. You get further into it, it kind of gives you an idea of how it's all connected. Remember, Asia Next, like I was talking about. Then to the next slide. Let's talk about this for a moment. This is another one that, you know, Channing and I will be out of the frame, but want to put some emphasis on. Look what we have here, guys. Majority of FMIs and banks are now doing what? Executing well-defined digital asset strategies. The space is accelerating. Wow, look at this. Deutsche Börse to launch cryptocurrency exchange in 2024. Has that already happened? I don't think it has happened yet. But again, remember how we're talking? I'll come back into the frame with Shannon because I want to get some of his uh, insights here in a bit. But remember how we're talking about, you know, it, it's it's the newly minted assets. That, that example from XLM. What happens when you have Deutsche Börse? You know, I probably not mention that right. It might, might be pronounced like Deutsche Börse, you know, uh, skit, skit, bing, bing, you know, you should mish. I'm kidding. All right. But the point is to launch cryptocurrency exchange in 2024. So that exchange gets launched. Who is the, the plug, the connector through all of this? Well, you could say, for instance, this particular thing we're talking about. And they're built off of the rails of something that's blockchain agnostic through the overledger. You don't think that's going to be absolutely massive? Back to the examples of what we're talking about where this, this run-up, last bull run, where we're at now for quant and where they're going. So again, this is a little bit more tip of the iceberg. I'm going to have Channing... Chiming in here in a bit, brother, I swear. We're going to get more into this, and then we'll take a pause. But let's get into a little bit more of the nitty-gritty. You have this other example. How many times have we referenced HSBC? Mm -hmm. They announced new digital assets custody service. Guys, think about it. Don't overthink about it. Um, this is where you have Larry Fink and BlackRock and so on. Their plug, their connect. What about the top right? Um, Commerce Bank granted crypto custody license. Commerce Bank. Wow. Is this is this all the examples of the bigger picture? I think so. I really, really think so. How many times do you see from the XRP army people referencing Santander, right? Santander is even part of that mix. Or XDC, right? Private bank introduces Bitcoin, Ethereum trading for clients in Switzerland. Right. Talking about some of the whole thing of ETS and so on, right? Getting more into it. LSE, LSE uh, group draws up plans for blockchain-based digital assets business. You had the whole thing of, you know, the World Bank, who, uh, you know, we, we pointed out recently, it's not just Ripple's XRP, it's not just Stellar's XLM for global stablecoins, but I'm not saying that Quant is a stablecoin. I mean, I kind of agree with um, with Tokenizer, you know, uh, for a while, I guess you could say it was. But the World Bank on that PDF, we referenced that the World Bank also recognized Quant. So World Bank is the first issuer on Euroclear's new digital securities platform. Why am I mentioning that? Can we talk about that? This is where I want uh, Shane to inject. Um, let's talk about this for a brief moment. So Channing, you mentioned in some of your recent videos, Larry Fink, Mary, I was talking about tokenization of even like securities and so on. Boom, right there. What do we have? Back to the whole securities platform, Euroclear. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts? People don't realize how huge tokenization is going to be because everything is being pulled onto the blockchain. Every stock, every bond, every um, any type of asset that has value to anyone will be pulled onto the blockchain. Now, it could be value on a major level from as far as institutions, or it could be someone four years down the line when tokenization becomes a bigger thing. And it could be someone, you know, tokenizing their great grandmother's knitting collection. It, it's valuable to them. And you don't know, it could be valuable to someone else who can purchase those tokens off of you. Tokenization is going to be a huge, huge, huge thing. And to see some, most of these players talking about some form of tokenization or some type of cryptocurrency exchange going on on their platforms is major, which ties back into utility in motion. 
we're talking amongst the, this screen right here, we're talking trillions of dollars, literally, not even figuratively. Think of the impact of that over time, one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, and so forth and so on. It's going to be <laughs> something that none of us have ever seen before. This utility run is going to be something for the for the history records. Yeah, the, the largest financial, you know, uh, the, the most amount of the largest financial transfer in history. Right. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Let's get more into this. Um, I'm going to put it on a full frame because we did talk about BlackRock, right? You do see there. Look at JP Morgan reference real quick. Hmm. JP Morgan debuts blockchain collateral settlement in BlackRock Barclays trade. We have the bottom left from Bloomberg, U.S. Clearinghouse, DTCC buys security to deepen uh, blockchain push. Um, I don't know if you remember when I was covering security. Um, I did a whole deep dive about security with Quant Papa. The reason why I mentioned all these things, guys, was not just to do content just to do it, but to under have you guys understand the bigger picture. The bigger picture, there's enough evidence to support that Quant is very, very uh, highly connected to all of this. This is where people feel as though that quant is the God token. People feel as though that quant, for instance, um, they got too much going on here to just like, you know, dismiss. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then UBS tokenize again, guys, how many references to tokenization all over this whole thing, right? Um, you, you know, UBS tokenize, let's blow it up a little bit more. What's it say? Your gateway. Wow, to decentralized financial markets. Who would be the main gateway? Isn't Quant, you know, if if Shane Link is the king of oracles, can we all agree that Quant is the king of APIs? You better believe it is. Absolutely. And um, even even sure. furthermore, too, for, for that to even mention decentralized finance is a big thing because for so long, it wasn't even spoke of in these circles. No, it wasn't. All right, um, a little tad bit more. Um, this other one I want to get into. Singapore Exchange launches digital asset trading. I mean, do you guys see a common thing here? I think you do. And then for you guys are wondering, well, why did you talk about SDX, Max? Well, bottom right corner. Bottom right corner. It's right there. Boom, right there. Okay? It's not a nothing bird. All right, let's get to the next particular one. Let's talk about this for a second. What do you see on the screen? You see, what do you think it will take for blockchain interoperability? Read our review here, sdx.com. Let's discuss. Huh. Do they mention quant? Yeah, they mention quant. Tech advance like quant, Q and T. When was this? Last June. That's pretty big, is it not, Channing? Absolutely. And if you look and see, they're actually actually the only company that's mentioned. <laughs> exactly. So this is why Quant Papa takes all these ones and puts them on one big giant frame for you guys to understand. It's who sits at the table. SDX Absolutely. sits at the table. Quant sits at the entire table. It is the freaking table. You know what it I mean? They don't have a seat at the table. They are the table. Some of you guys ask what cold storage solution I use. I use this, and it is the Decent Wallet. All right. I also, of course, have a ledger uh, like this. All right. You can get a discount basically from going into the affiliate link, which is in all the live video descriptions and recorded and so on. And for the Yahoo's that are out there, they're like, this is just a shield. And, you know, we'll fix point this out. And it's a great point. Were you aware that you don't necessarily get a discount link just going straight to the site? No, you actually have to go through a platform like this. So how cool is that? You know, I don't think anybody's complaining about that. But anyway, use the link, get a discount. There's another one here. If you're the type of person you want to get one for your you and your you know significant other, uh, you can get two of them. They have a, they actually have another promotion, which is this, and I think this is cool. You can get an all-in-one card wallet plus backup card package. Interesting. I thought that was cool. And again, one of the main key things I like about the Decent Wallet is not having to do the, the red tape of you know, jumping through all the hoops for XDC and the custom folder. I mean, Edward Vincent can vouch on that. Some of you guys can too as well in regards to Ledger. That was a pain in the butt. You don't have that problem. You literally open up your phone. It's on your app. 
track everything that's going on, right? And, you know, Sango's not your keys, not your crypto. You know the drill. Check it all out, though, if you wish to do so. It is truly the cold storage solution that I use for the most part. There's still some on Ledger that, you know, I kind of split it up on it and so on. So it is what it is. But if I have preference over one, I'm going with this one. A lot easier to use and so on. And some people, even to this day, still ask me which one to use. Thank you.